to just dive in on one thing. There's something that I saw, which uh, this seemed to be pretty significant to you. Mm-hmm. That at some point, I'm not sure what point in your career, but uh, a, a rumor came out mm. that your dad was somehow right. affiliated yeah. with like Colombian cartels. No, that... Colombia. No, oh my God. Oh, that's. <laughs> I wish it would have been that. That's so oh. much cooler. <laughs> no. Oh, Colombia, the so... record label. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Can you imagine? That's yeah. fucking crazy. Because I was gonna say they're like, both that... nuts, but the Colombian cartel would like. I would have ran with that. For sure. Right. Okay. So, so they're saying so that so the the accusation was that you're an industry plant because yeah, your that, dad like worked, my dad worked at a record label. It's like wow, how convenient. He worked at the one record label that I partnered with at the exact time mm-hmm. after putting out a hundred songs and eleven mixtapes. He just popped up with a job there. So. Wow. Just idiot. Dude, how yeah. funny dude, that, that I was like, oh, like tied to Columbia, and I was like, oh man, like wouldn't. You were probably about to go down a rabbit hole. You had a whole rabbit hole plan. Like, I can't wait to dive down this. Well, because, yeah. because, yeah, then when I saw the that your record label was Columbia, I go, oh, I'm thinking about, like, isn't it funny? They thought it was Columbia. Hey, there's Columbia. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Do you think industry plants are a real thing? Um, But what what is an industry plant? In, industry plant, you know what's so funny is... <clears throat> And even, to even be in the industry back in the day before the internet, you had to be an industry plant. So an industry plant mm-hmm. is somebody who is planted in the public, to the public eye, by the industry. Yeah. Essentially, where it's like, because, you know, when you start seeing new artists, you're like, where'd this person come from? And you find out they've been signed for six years and, you know, yeah. like they've been really marketed the mm-hmm. whole time behind the scenes. That's kind of what they mean by industry plant. But it's like that's how you that was the only option like before right. the internet. Yeah. Um so when the internet came around, like now gave gave ground to like the whole DIY movement and you just being in your room and putting shit out. Yeah. And so you take pride in that. Like for me, I was really like in the basement with just my friend, like putting shit out. And so when you blow up from that, you're like, This is crazy. Like, this is why this is really hard to do. So yeah. when people were just trying to throw like different rumors on me it's you know i take it as a compliment because it's like you literally did something unbelievable like they don't believe Mm -hmm. that you could have just done that so it's like yeah whatever yeah i mean the the whole diy approach to starting a career the man do i relate to that yeah with me it was uh like a, a a vhsc video camera and and then like plugging in video cassette recorders right. like vcrs like hit play on one record on the other Shit. and and uh you know duplicate these videotapes which i would then walk to the post office and put in an envelope and mail for someone to put the cassette tape into a vcr oh, shit. like before they even they had the the internet you know before email <laughs> was was a, a thing but before like uh instant gratification of like views and likes like how were you seeing that you were blowing up well that's the other thing like in uh, hearing you talk about how you just believed that like every song was was like was a hit or yeah. it was gonna be a hit and it was just like that's what i related to the most you were just like man like it's just a matter of time until people find out yeah you know, that my, that my it's like that delusional confidence yeah that i'm dope like i i felt that way and and uh you know for me, it was always instant gratification because I went everywhere with a, a video tape cassette, mm. and like I would just take over a living room. I'd be like at the party, like okay, everybody, part like the whole party, all right, like everybody, come on into the living room, usher <laughs> yeah. around the TV. That checks out. And, and, and I, <laughs> yeah, and then I put in the video tape into the VCR and make everybody at parties watch me yeah. on TV. So there was this in, awesome. in, instant feedback. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, dude. They had uh, skateboard conventions, like action sports conventions. Yeah. And and uh, that how I got my first like real sponsor. Yeah. Like I got into one of these conventions. Yeah. And I went around. The, every booth in the convention has like a TV set with the VCR. You so just they can, like, it in. I, I go I, I go up to booths and straight eject their video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put in my videotape right. and hit play. And like, dude, people were so pissed. Like, what the hell are you doing? Like, you know, like, oh dude, hey man, all good, man. I'm sorry, my bad. It's like the modern version of that's like going into the Apple store and putting your music on all the iPhones. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But that but that was how I found my sponsor. Uh that's awesome. Was uh the, the one guy because like at that point 
I was on on rooftops, like lighting myself on fire, like doing Insanity. simultaneous fire breathing flips off of three story buildings into shallow. Was pools. there ever a fear of death? Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. Like, like, yeah. Uh, what do you mean? That was the whole driving. Force. I was more more afraid of paralysis. Wow. But but, but absolutely. And there's this one booth where this guy, you know, there I am on fire and flying off the buildings, and this guy's like, "Hey, is that you?" It's like, "Yeah, let's talk about putting you in my next video." And, oh, and, and that was like, you know, pretty much really where where it truly began for me. Simpler times, man. Yeah. So yeah. what happened with you? You you had music, you put it on TuneCore, then all of a sudden. Yeah, I mean, I was just and... yeah, I put out eleven mixtapes just self-produced self -produced, and that's everything. between 2011 and 2014 yeah so 11 in that short and really it was damn near like 2012 because the first one was december 2011 so I it can't. was so much music but how many and views were you getting like year one those didn't get shit those were like i mean spotify wasn't a thing apple music wasn't really a thing we were gauging success off of like downloads like wow how many people downloaded this on media fire you know what i mean <laughs> wow. straight up like that's how we would upload the music. Like, we yeah. would put it on iTunes, but we would never, like, push that link. We have, like, 10 followers. I'm going to ask y'all to buy my shit? Like, yeah. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah. Um, you know? When, when you were in the basement and mm -hmm. you made your first music, like, the microphone that you used was a microphone from the video game Guitar Hero. Yes, yes. Uh, rock like, Band. Bro, Same rock shit. Band. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Rock, dude, that, that is so classic. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. just so classic that that's and We microphone. thought it was fucking awesome. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. we just... I remember just how enamored we were with the fact that we could hear our voices and like yeah. we could make a song. Like that was that was success, you know? Dude, it's the same thing with me. Yeah. Except it's like uh I, I had this crazy like like mortality complex. I think that we all do, that it's like that it's just human mm. that, that that we fear death. Like our mm. our 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 only real instinct is to survive. Wow. Yeah. But our only guarantee is that we won't. <laughs> right. That you is know? Fucked. So yeah. so our human existence is just this like total catch twenty two where yeah. we're just barreling towards the one thing that we we fear the most. There's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. So, so like true. the purpose in our experience is to somehow wrap our head around that. You know, yeah. that's why people are so focused on, I'm gonna have kids, you know, so mm. I, I, I live on. I'm gonna be religious, so I believe I'm going to heaven. You know, yeah. like I'm gonna, and, and then there's the artist. That's yeah. like, I'm gonna create stuff that's gonna- That outlasts me. That outlasts me. Yeah. So like, so when I saw myself on the videotapes that I was making, I'm like, dude, I'm gonna be dead probably sooner than later <laughs> but i'm not going to be dead because i'll still be on video dude. right you're immortalized and and so how many views like was, wasn't a thing it was that i'll be it's how long i have the potential to be viewed wow this was my way to cheat death like my, my immortality that's fire. wow and, i had and, similar thoughts like that yeah and, that's incredible and, and i don't think it's it's uh a, a coincidence mm. that that like here i am like the actual art that i was creating was effectively me lashing out at death, mm. you know, like cheating, like mocking, oh, like, like, like screw you, fire. death, you know, like I'm gonna hang off a 12 story building by my yeah. bare hands and like, ah, screw you, you death. You would just stare it in the face and be like, fuck you. Yeah, wow. kinda, you know. Dude, that's incredible. I never looked at it like that. That's awesome. Well, it's uh, That's a hell of a way to live. Do you like shopping on Amazon? I do. And good news is, Stevo's butt wipes for your butthole are available on Amazon. And if you want a real bundle of a deal, you can get Stevo's hot sauce for your butthole, plus Stevo's butthole destroyer, and Stevo's butt wipes for your butthole. It's the butthole bundle available on Amazon right now. Yeah, dude.